All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and we're back for some more Stardew Valley as I need to relocate my microphone a little bit. And yeah, we're going to be playing some more of this, and I also... Uh, I have some plans, basically, for the series that we're going to go forward with. Just because, well, I have some plans for the type of content that I make on the intertube webs things. Um, so we're back here in Stardew Valley. It's the 12th of spring. It's raining, so I don't have to really do anything today. Um, I have a letter. What is in my letter? Me sell hats, okie pokey. Come to old, old, old house. Bring, bring coins. Hat mouse. All right, so the demons want to talk to me again, it looks like. Dear Larry, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in Town Square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt, Mayor Lewis. Lewis, you freak me out, man. Just thought I should mention that. So what's going to be going on here? Well, I, I think we need to spice things up a little bit in Stardew Valley. So I'm going to take a look at some fun-filled mods for this game. And we can have a rousing um, murder-tastic adventure with those things. We've got lightsabers, Star Wars characters, Pokemons, um, helpful utility mods, the works, really. And I think we should have a heck of a time with that. Now, I'm trying to remember the controls right here. But yeah, so with that, I'll probably be doing some tutorials on how to install those things for the tutorial channel that I put together, Chupacabra Tutorials, and also some tutorial showcase videos where I showcase my top 10 or my top 5 uh, sort of mods that I like, and also talking about a few of the controversial ones just to sort of round things off, because there are some... Um, semi-nudie mod ones that exist, and there's also one where somebody made it so that you could marry that one girl in town. Um, the mods that I do have my eye on are things that, like, give me added utility, like a HUD that tells me where all the townsfolk are at any given time, so that I can finish talking to all of them for that one say words to the townspeople mission, which is probably not a bad idea. And, yeah. I definitely have been planning on doing more tutorial stuff in general, because that is- Whoa, this fish is a jumper. What the heck was that about? I just tapped my button and just like, I'm going on an adventure. Alright, that's a thing, I guess. But yeah, I've been planning on and need to do more tutorials on my tutorial channel, because that's where the real money is as far as Larry's concerned. I mean, if I actually want to make some scratch on YouTube, which it already is making me some scratch on the old YouTube. So I definitely need to be doing more of that, and I'm already modding this game. It actually mods pretty easily, truth be told. Somebody, like, just immediately made a modding API for people to use, which really makes it easier for people to make and use mods, because you just put them in one mods folder after you've got it installed. It self-installs, which is great. I mean, what's not to love about that, really? Um, other games that I've been meaning to install and do something stupid with are in, like, GTA V. I definitely need to start modding Fallout 4 and do a, a, a finale for that. Because I've got people to murder. I have to go get my son in that game and return him in a crib to his mother. And I think you know exactly what that means I'm going to do because I'm a crazy person. And I'll leave it at that. See if we can catch one more fish, and I'm gonna go sell some stuff. Come on, Larry needs a new pair of... I don't know, what can you make out of... Oh, what is up with this fish? What the... Alright, no, we're not, we're not doing that. Screw that. I don't know what the fucking deal is with that crazy fish. It must be like a jumping fish, a jumping Jehoshaphat's fish. Something like that, I'm, I'm sure. Let's go to Pierre's. Hey, Pierre. I need to buy some stuff from you. What's up, Mang? Um, what do we got? Got bean starter. Plant these in the spring. Takes ten days to mature, but keeps producing after that. Yields multiple beans. Grows on a trellis. 
That's right, I still don't know how to make a trailer, so I'll have to add that to the to-do list. Uh, potato seeds. Definitely potato seeds. Hell, let's just buy a bunch of these. I don't really need money for much else right now. Wait, kale? I love kale. Kale's great when you fry it up. Um, plant these in the spring, take six days to mature, harvest with a scythe. Alright, I'll try one of those since I kind of spend all the rest of my money, but... Good news, there's plenty of money to be had in this game. And I also need to properly... Oh, that's right, I have to hover over the door to get this to work right. There we go. I need a small mouth bass to rub on my sore nose. Please bring me one as soon as you can. George! Okay, George, what do I have? Small mouse, mouth bass. Wait, wait, did I accept that? I need to accept that mission. Accept quest. Where is George? I need to actually look that up. Stardew Valley George. Georgio. Where are you hiding? See, this is why I'm gonna get that freaking mod to tell me where all the townspeople are, because this is redonkulous. Um, George Muller is a villager, lives in Pelican Town. That's nice. And he lives with his grandson, Alex. Where can I find him? Wiki. Entering George's house when he is home, the player will see him struggling to reach something on a bookshelf. Oh, he's the crazy old man. Well, which... Which house is his Wikipedia page? Perhaps... Perhaps the mouth... The, the map knows. Willow Lane. That's not Mayor's house. River... George. That's the one right there. Okay. Is this this one? Is this George's house? George? Are you George? George? This is Alex. Hey, what's up, farmer guy? Alex. You're very respectful. I won't kill you with my farming cult. Um... Where the fuck is George? Oh, this is George. Hey, George. So you're a farmer, eh? At least it's honest work. What do you think I do, George? Murder people at night? Perhaps? Oh, it's that small mouth bass I requested. It looks perfect. Here's a little something for your trouble, kid. I got 15 bucks for a fish. Just want everyone to, re to be aware, I got 15 bucks for a fish. Alright, well... What else do I have on the docket? I don't even remember. Um, delivery... I need a smallmouth bass, done and done. Smelting, use a furnace to smelt a copper bar, need to go kill some things. Um, need to go explore down to level 5 in the old mine. Need to build a chicken coop so I can start a chicken brothel, and I need to talk to the rest of the townsfolk. Um, I should probably talk to the rest of George's family first. So, here old lady. George spends the whole day in front of that darn television. Evelyn, I've already talked to you. Okay, this, w this was clearly not a thing. Um, where else can we go? You! Small child, wandering in the rain. Talk to me, Larry. Oh no, you're not a small child, you're just a fat, stubby woman. Each J is just the same as the last. If only I'd been born rich. Y you are rich, Pam, you're in that Archer show. What the hell are you talking about? You're a crazy person, Pam. Crazy person. Alright, let's go talk to the demons in... Was it the old visitor center? I think the demons are those weird gremlin things. And I think they want to do things to my butt. So, there's that. Um, I think I have weird demon powers so I can read this thing. Alright, craft room. Spring foraging bundle. Oh, I have to, like, bring items. Wild horseradish, daffodil, a leek, and a dandelion. Well, um, Comical Skate did tell me where to find that demonic axe that allows me to summon the demons. Let's go get that thing. Um, I'm also making these episodes 20 minutes long. Oh, there's a daffodil. Alright. We're already a ways in the right direction, I guess. Okay. Now you're just being crazy. Now, now you're just being really crazy, game. That's just too many daffodils. 
Wait, wait, what is a man going to do with that many daffodils? You think I'm going to start, like, a weird farm cult that's financed with flowers and flower shops that I then use the spores that I've specially bred you with the use of magic, take over the people's minds? Actually, that's a brilliant idea. I should do exactly that thing I just made up right now. Yes, I can see it now, probably, maybe, a little bit. Um, let's huck you in the old bin. Wait, how do I talk to the thing? I guess like this. I should probably keep the... This stuff I can eat and craft with. This thing looks fancy. A traditional spring flower that makes a nice gift. I think you're hinting at something, game. So I'm gonna have to lurk up how to woo the women folk and find me a bride. In the meantime, I'm gonna plant some stuff. Like this. Thingy. And I'm supposed to use my mouse, because I'm fancy boy. And that's what fancy boys do, if they're not crazy. Little crazy, though. L little, little crazy. Uh, what do I need here? I need Zaho. There we go. Yeah! Perfect. I'm one short. Why would you do this to me, game? With your sauciness. Whoops. Too far. There we go. See, I'm using the thingy. Don't judge me. Also, I need to start looking for them wiggly worms. I... You know, I wasn't really looking for them the whole time during this episode, either. Wiggle worms. Wiggle worms. If I was a demonic wiggle worm, where would I hide? Well, the wolves are squealing in the darkness. That's always a good sign. Frickin' demon wolves. Why can't it just be the sexy transgender demon wolves that, like, they wear, like, thongs and stuff, and they put on, like, fishnet stockings, and... I mean, it's not really the, the look of the transgendered wolves, it's just how they f make you feel at home before they disembowel you. And, you know, th that's the monster that I feel is gonna be, um in the, the lair of the supervillain of the future, because they drag you into their little den, and they, they brew you some sheep's blood tea before they disembowel you, and, like, you just feel so relaxed. They, like, they ask you about the weather and how your day is and how crazy politics are. Then they eat you. It's great. Love it. Love it. So somewhere around yonder is an axe. Somewhere near here. Let me see here. Was it down here on the beach that I can't really reach? Probably. Maybe I should have read that comment from Comical Skate. So yeah, this weekend I'm gonna start looking at doing some mods. That's definitely on the horizon. I'm also gonna have to just look for some other information about what I should be looking for in this game. My god. Where is this thing? Is it over here? Nope, that's a fence. I got a bunch of spring onions, though. That might be useful for something. Is it across this murder bridge? I feel like important things are usually across murder bridges. Wait, there's a homeless person's house. I'll bet... Oh, this is where you buy the hats. That was... Actually not what I was looking for at all. Hi, person. Sows Wester. It's a really expensive hat. The shape helps to keep the sailors dry during storms. Achievement fisherman. Does that... Does that mean I fish real good? Okay, there's an actual hat mouse. We've now established that this is a thing. I, I guess? I don't know. That's... That sure is weird. And this sure is a mysterious thing here. Okay. Get me some fiber, then. And some seeds. Just some random garbage. Where the shit is this magic axe? I'm about to look this up. Okay, looks like I wasn't that far off. It was just like... Did I walk past it? I might have. 
Like, I'm looking for, like, a special blopper. Says it's, like, over here. Come to me, map. Oh, wait, I'm still not... Am I not over far enough? What the shit? Is it not available anymore? Dude sent me, like, a message. He sent me, like, an IM through the mailbox. Oh. Supposed to be over here, but there is nothing over here. Okay, then. That sure is a thing. Yeah. Says it's right, supposed to be right here. Right here. But there is no axe. Okay. That's cool. What was that noise? Vroom. Uh, probably just the demons. It's like uh, nine o'clock at night. Maybe I can't find the axe during the day. Maybe I don't have that mission anymore. Uh, sure, kind of random. I'll give it that. Guess we'll just go back over the bridge. It's like those greeblies are trying to do stuff. I also didn't see where those Greeblies were to properly chat with them, either. Another thing I'd probably have to read into more, but haven't yet. Oh well, I mean... That's life, I guess. Life on the old range. Home, home on the range. Where the deer and the antelope practice their homicidal games. Where seldom is heard a witness's word. Because everyone's in it with the Mafia, so no one's probably gonna snitch on anybody. That got weird. Just a little, though. How much are these worth? Probably not much. You know what? I probably want to keep some of those. I'll keep, like, that many. Um, fiber I probably want to hang on to. Uh, mixed seeds generally give me garbage, so... None of that. Yeah, that's probably enough for today. What's in the old thingamabopper? Weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. Gonna be clear and sunny for the egg festival, Larry. You better show up or they'll find you. Didn't they have a cat? The fuck is the cat? Is the cat dead? I guess the cat is dead. Yeah, that's just what cats do, I guess. Oh, and I didn't really keep track of my timer. I got a little bit of cash for all that. Oh, apparently the seeds are not worth anything. Of course they're not. Of course random shit I find on the ground is not worth anything. Uh, I don't know really what I expected. Where the fuck is the cat? Oh, it's sleeping outside. I guess that's good. I should probably commune with the animal. Maybe. I don't know. Don't judge me. Fiberglass pole. I don't really have a use for those daffodils. Guess we'll go start stabbing some of them slime. Oh, hey, kitty. I don't know how you talk to the cat. I think you just hang out near the cat. So yeah, these, um, these totem things here, these little animal statues, apparently you get to build, like, a, a totem that teleports you places when you appease the... the demons. Oh, look at all my things are growing. Is this thing ready? That was... No, don't eat the potato. Plant, plant the potato. Or don't. No, don't eat... or... My controls could wig out. Whatever. Surprised you, there isn't, like, a skill to harvest these potatoes. Alright, let's just grab all this stuff up. Alright, that's actually not a bad haul. Let's just turn all this stuff in now. Padunk. There we go. Perfect. Alright. We're all set to go to that festival thingy. Um, was there more wild stuff? Okay, I can't interact with that. 
That's a minecart that doesn't do a thing yet. I also haven't been looking out for those worms, but I guess we'll do all that next time. Oh, the festival? I can't- literally can't go into town until the festival's ready. Got it. Alright, that's interesting. Alright, anyway, catch you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. After this session is over, um, the next session after that will be all about, um, mods that I have procured. Or procured. W words. Okay, the cat's dead. Anyway, bye everyone. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff.